of the year. There he is. Stefan Gilmore, who started his career at Buffalo, fourth year now in New England, just turned 30 yesterday. First cornerback to earn the award since Charles Woodson. Check usually goes after sort of the bottom end free agents. That was uh, top shelf with Gilmore, and boy, it certainly paid off. Second and three, needed a shutdown corner and got it. And that is DK Metcalf making the catch, and Gilmore makes the tackle. Yeah, this is the matchup we really expected tonight because DK Metcalf is so big and Gilmore tends to go after the bigger type of receivers. Typically, if they have a small, quick kind of guy, they'll double team and slot. Stays in the block. Wilson, it as he throws deep downfield. It's going to be caught by Metcalf for the touchdown. And he beats the defensive player of the year as well. 54 yards. It's just a thing of beauty right here. You go against the leverage and come back out of it like that. Because typically when you go that hard inside, you feel like that you're going across the field. But his body is so big. Gilmore ended up being right there. But it was Russell Wilson who dropped it in, one of those moon balls over the top, which makes it almost impossible covering a receiver that big to get involved and break it up. There he is, the best deep ball thrower in the game, Russell Wilson, and he just proved it again with one of those high arcing throws that he does so well, as he describes it, dropping it down in the bucket and as a defensive back when you have a big receiver there's just nothing you can do nice job by Metcalf not tip tipping that the ball was coming down the possibility of two-man coverage here which I mean Russell running the ball right now he's going to fire it too high and incomplete intended for Metcalf so that's only his second incomplete pass the other was a pick six which was tipped and returned in the Opening minutes of the game for a New England touchdown. This is some battle going on on the outside, and really a great thought here by Russell Wilson. Gets the outside release on the little sluggo move. He's going to throw it to that back shoulder, just barely out of the reach, but a nice, safe throw to a big receiver. Probably wouldn't go for it, so maybe that's the strategy. Third and 16. Wilson fires and that's out of bounds and incomplete. So you've got 28 seconds. It's fourth down. Gilmore covering on the play. And the Patriots are going to get the ball back. You know, Gilmore and DK Metcalf have been going at it all game. I wonder if this one carried right into the bench. This is uh, what started it, you would think. Well, let's go to Michelle right in front of you, Michelle. Yeah, basically, I mean, you saw them going at it on that on that particular play, and then it just continued all the way onto the sideline. And before you knew it, Gilmore was deep into the bench, and everyone was around him. So uh, it's a little heated between those two, Al. What it cost you for a ringside? Look at our next-gen stats powered by AWS, and watch this. This is what's been going on all game between these two guys. It has been a battle during pass routes, but more particularly when they've been going at it just run blocking. Gilmore gets his shots back, and of course, Metcalf with the big play of the night. But that stuff has just been getting chippier and chippier. Wilson fires right on the money. Metcalf. Man, getting the measure of Gilmore. I mean, let's just say that DK Metcalf is an emerging star anyway. Everybody knew that. But when you're going up against the defensive player of the year and having this kind of night, and you're 225 pounds, and your speed scares him like that, and then you have the ability to just stop on a dime and make that kind of cut and come back, I, he's a special guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just is.